everybody this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to the simple quilter now I have to be honest with you today I was hoping to show you part two of the surprise package quilt and I just am not going to be able to pull this one off I have had this up on my design board it's kind of turned into a bit of a visual nightmare for me I'm trying hard not to put two of the same um, prints together even though they're in different colors and it, it's it's kind of difficult so so I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the quilt and show you kind of the state that it's in right now now I haven't snowballed the corners I haven't added the star but um, I just am struggling with this I thought it would be so much easier the first block this one went together so nicely but as I laid it out and I'm trying to get a grip on where to put all the fabrics I've just kind of run into a snag now if you have any comments that you think might help me please be sure to put those in the comments below let me step aside so you can kind of see a little bit more of this quilt so as you can see <laughs> I'm really struggling with all of these fabrics. You can see I have a row even down there on the floor. It's turning out to be much more difficult to find the placements of these fabrics than I thought. And I'm really probably agonizing over it a little too much. But I guess this is what it is. I will put this quilt together and really maybe I have at and really maybe after I add all of the points for the stars and add the white snowballs on the corner of each block it could transform into something quite magnificent but right now I think you'll agree it's a bit of a visual uh, disaster or visual nightmare okay so I'm really hoping that when I add the star points and when I add the snowballs it's going to look a little bit different but like I said I keep playing with the positioning of the fabric before I start to add those uh, add that white into the quilt um, just so I have a pretty good idea because once I add those points and the snowballs I really can't change it a whole lot after that so again please put your <laughs> comments or suggestions uh, down below in the comment section and I do want to I do want to take this time to wish you a Merry Christmas I'm not going to be posting any more videos until after the first of the year I think my next video will come out on January 4th but I'm going to take a little bit of a break do a little bit of planning and enjoy the holidays with my family so um, I, again, I do want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a safe and happy New Year. I'll see you after the first of the year. Don't forget to leave those comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Please share with a friend. And as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments and I could definitely use a comment on this project. So until next time, have fun quilting.